She likes to feed it through traps too, make it work hard. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and so what fiber is this again? This is um, just a straight wool. It's okay. probably a Shetland wool. Um, I can't remember, but it's definitely a, a, some sort of sheep wool. Um, I'm going to take it off the drum carter. Boy, that oh, that looks out. really nice. Yeah, it kind of looks like a gray in this light, but it isn't. It's a green. All right, so use the hook, break it loose so that I can take it off. And then I'm going to take this comb or brush, and he's going to turn it no. counterclockwise for me. I'm going to take this right off. Wow. And then because it's, you know, I mean, it looks like it's ready to go, but really I want to, I always try to put it through at least twice. The same thing twice? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'll put this through one more time. It never does? It never gets the ice cream out of this thing. Just keep telling him. Eventually it'll be there and maybe then you'll keep... You won't lose your cranker. <laughs> yeah, he's cranky. That's <laughs> <laughs> a freaking rough crowd, man. But you know, we we kind of all work together and yeah, get this done. Um, um, hey, honey, you got vegetables in here. It'll be all right. Okay, we'll just say. Stop learning uh, in this. This hobby, you know, because there's just all there's so much to learn. Yeah. You know, you you just think you jump and sit down and and uh, start spinning, but you've got to prepare your fibers, you got to get your fibers ready, and then you know you've got to sit down and you've got to figure out what kind of yarn you're. First of all, I think it's important kind of figure out what your project is that you want to do with that yarn, but a lot of times I'm make the yarn and then figure out, oh, this looks good for this project. Mm -hmm. um, but see, that's oh. it. That is okay. amazing. That's ready to spin. Now you're going to get some noils in there and as you spin you'll just take them out. Uh -huh. You know. Um,